Hello students this is Ashini from chinta.com today i want to discuss with you mobius inversion it's a very beautiful area of elementary number theory i think you will enjoy it quite a lot in this video i will not go into any proof I will just explain what this beautiful idea is all about. Believe it or not, it is related to the idea of factorization. We all know factorization. For example, if you have the number 35, you can prime factorize it. You can write it as product of smaller numbers. 5 times 7. Factorization philosophically means that you have a big thing you want to write it down breaking it down into smaller things why because sometimes if you understand the parts you may hope to understand the entire thing now this may not work only with multiplication you can also add stuff for example you can factorize this is called additive factorization or sometimes called partition you can factorize 4 as 2 plus 2 there are actually multiple ways of doing it you can also do it 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 you can do 3 plus 1 so there are quite a few ways of factorizing 4 if you are doing it in terms of addition this is also known as partition problem it's a very hard problem ramanujan actually worked very hard on this partition problem you can probably watch the movie the man who knew infinity and there is a bit of uh, conversation with hardy and ramanujan on this specific thing the partition problem in fact i will give you a challenge Suppose you have the number 2025 I want to additively factorize it which basically means I want to partition it into three separate numbers so one way to do it is 2020 plus 3 plus 2 that's one way another way to do it is 1000 plus 1000 plus 25 So there are quite a few ways of doing it. Can you figure out in how many ways you can partition 2025 into three factors? If you can, put it in the comment section. So just as we are able to partition numbers or factorize numbers, whether it is terms of in terms of addition or whether it is in terms of uh, multiplication. we can also do that in with functions and this is where something wonderful happens suppose you have a very complicated function and you want to write it in terms of sum or product of other functions which you understand better so you have a complex function this is what theoretically or sort of philosophically happens you have a complex function and you want to write it as sum of functions or maybe product of functions which are easy to understand here is a sort of a research focused question you can figure this out by maybe going into the internet or reading some book and i will i have talked about this in this particular channel before there was one such factorization of a function that madhavacharya did one of the greatest discoveries in mathematics so he could factorize tan x tan is the trigonometric function in terms of let's say polynomials 
polynomials means x square x cube 2x square 3x square plus 5x plus 4 9 these are polynomials so what madhava could do he could factorize a trigonometric function or inverse trigonometric functions in terms of polynomials this was his big contribution it sort of solved a long standing open problem in trigonometry how to figure out sine of any angle let's say sine of 23 degree you can use madhava's factorization to do it so we understand now hopefully that even functions can be factorized what do i mean by factorization of functions i have a complicated function i want to write it down as a sum or product of other functions this can be a very important point of research. In fact, many of the Olympiad students at Chinta are involved in research programs. And there, one problem in the last year's research program was very close to this. There was a kind of hyperbolic function we wanted to factorize it into smaller understandable functions. Okay, so let's proceed to something called multiplicative functions. So what are multiplicative functions? I will not go into a very precise definition, but I will show you what it actually means. Let's suppose we have a function f. And for the time being, we assume that it takes in values which are natural numbers and produces values which are natural numbers. The input values are positive integers the output values are also positive integers. Now, suppose there are two input values, m and n, and their GCD is 1. Then, the function f is called multiplicative if f of m times n is equals to f of m times n f of n f of m times n is equals to f of m times f of n if this happens whenever m and n are uh, co-prime or their gcd is one then we say that the function is multiplicative in the math olympiad programs at chinta we often discuss this in the light of group theory in group theory there is a concept called group homomorphism and this is directly borrowed for from there it's good to have a sort of overarching idea of what's going on and then come into the particular. Okay, so now there is a very interesting thing about multiplicative functions. I will write down the statement and then probably you will be able to understand it. The question is, the, well the statement is this, if f is multiplicative and it can be factored so it's a, if it's a multiplicative function that can be factored factored means as i mentioned it can be written as sum of some other functions if it can be factored then it can be inverted. Inverted. That's the beauty of Mobius inversion. We are very close to the core idea. So, let me write it down. Suppose we have a number, let's say 10. Now, the number 10 has a bunch of divisors. So, what are the divisors of 10? 1, 2, 5, and 10 itself. Suppose f is a multiplicative function such that f of 10 is equal to, now it can be factored in terms of other function, another function. So let's say the other, another function is g. g of 1 plus g of 2 plus g of 5 plus g of 10. So what I just did is I factored f in terms of g 
only I change the input values of the factors. The input values are the divisors. If this happens, if this happens, then G can be factored in terms of F. That is the inversion. What is the inversion? The word inversion means G can be factored in terms of F. So not exactly this. Basically it can be done it like this. So G of 10 will be something times f of 1 so again you look at the divisors okay plus something else times f of 2 plus something else times f of 5 plus something else times f of 10 what this something else is what am i multiplying with this is a sort of a correctional element we will talk about it in the next video this correctional element is called the Kronecker delta function so we'll come to that but I hope the main idea is quite clear. You have a big function which can be factored in terms of another function. If such a function is multiplicative, then you can invert the entire story. You can factor G in terms of F. If you can factor F in terms of G, you can factor G in terms of F. So beautiful, isn't it? I hope you loved what you heard up to now. If you're interested in math olympiad programs, research programs, or leadership programs, check the link in the description. I will continue with Mobius inversion in the second part of this video, where we will go into the technicalities. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.